Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Today we are going to talk about our work RRAFL, which is an incentive mechanism for horizontal federated learning based on reputation and reverse auction. I am the presenter Jean Guinjong from Sun Yat-sen University. So what is horizontal federated learning? We know that traditional machine learning needs to gather all data to the center to train the model. This will lead to user privacy leakage and data security issues. Violate government laws. Federated learning is a machine learning framework to solve the above problems. All data is kept locally and used to train the local model. Then the center aggregates all local models to obtain a global model. Since there is no need to upload user data, the privacy of user data is prevented from being leaked during uploading. Is there no problem with federated learning? We believe that federated learning lacks an important incentive mechanism. For the participants, everyone is rational. Due to the inevitable training and communication costs, participants will not serve for free. If there is no reward, participants will not stay in the federated learning system. For the task requester, even if he pays the participants, the participants may submit bad models to improve their utilities. Besides, the task requester is not aware of the amount and quality of data for each participant. If a data poisoning attack is conducted or the data quality is poor, the performance of the global model may become worse. Therefore, incentive mechanism is necessary. We propose a horizontal federated learning incentive mechanism called RRAFL based on reputation and reverse auction theory. Reputation is the requester's evaluation of the participants which indirectly reflects participant reliability and data quality. Reputation is saved in the blockchain since blockchain cannot be tampered and is open and transparent. Reverse auction is an auction form in the scenario of a single buyer and multiple sellers. In the reverse auction setting, candidates price their resources, and the requester selects multiple candidates with low price and a good reputation. Reverse auction gives participants the initiative to price work and motivate them to participate in the tasks. We consider a scenario that each individual with data and computing resources can act as a task requester or participant. At a certain moment, an individual with a limited budget as a task requester publishes a FL task. Interested individuals submit their bid price to the task requester. The task requester calculates their comprehensive reputation and uses reverse auction to select participants by combining their bids and comprehensive reputations. Then the FL task starts. In each round the requester uses quality detection to filter out bad local models. After model training, the requester measures the contribution and reputation of each participant in this task uploads the interaction information to the blockchain and pays the participants. Now we formalize the problem. Maximize the total comprehensive reputation of the selected participants on the condition that each participant should not be paid less than its cost and the total reward paid to the participants does not exceed the budget of the requester. Besides, the mechanism need to satisfy computational efficiency. Individual rationality, budget feasibility, and truthfulness. So, how can we get the comprehensive reputation of each participant? For requester I, the participant's reputation evaluated by requester I is called direct reputation. The participant's reputation evaluated by other requester is called recommended reputation. Other requesters are called recommenders. The reputation obtained by combining all recommended reputations is called indirect reputation. 
Direct reputation and indirect reputation are combined as the comprehensive reputation. The participant's reputation in each task is preserved in the interaction blockchain. Since the reputation evaluation closer to the current can better reflect the nature of the candidate. The requester performs an exponential moving average of the reputation of the candidate evaluated by the requester in each task to obtain direct reputation. Due to the differences between the recommenders, the recommended reputation should be assigned different weights when combined into an indirect reputation. First of all, as shown in this figure we build an interaction graph based on the interactions of individuals over a period. The edge EIJ represents the individual I as the task requester has selected the individual J as the participant. And the reputation of individual J evaluated by individual I in a certain task is greater than the threshold in this task. Then we get the transformed page rank value of the recommender in the interaction graph. The similarity between the requester and this recommender in evaluating participant reputation and the direct reputation of the recommender. Through these three factors, we obtain the weight of recommendation reputation. After averaging the recommended reputation according to the weights obtained above, we can get the indirect reputation of a certain participant. The calculation methods of direct reputation and indirect reputation have been introduced above. The greater the number of effective recommender, the more valuable indirect reputation is. Therefore the weight of the direct reputation should decrease as the number of effective recommender increases, but has a lower bound. The number of effective recommender is the input of this transformed arctan function, and the output is the weight of direct reputation. By weighted average of direct and indirect reputation, the comprehensive reputation is obtained. To obtain a better global model with a limited budget, Firstly, participants with low bids should be selected. And secondly, participants with better data quality should be selected. According to this idea, we sort the candidates in a non-descending order of their unit reputation bid price. We select the maximum number of participants from front to back on the condition that the product of the total comprehensive reputation of these winners and the unit reputation bid price of the first unselected candidate will not exceed the requester's budget. Each winner's reward is the result of his comprehensive reputation multiplied by the unit reputation bid price of the first unselected candidate. Although reputation is considered, Participants' reliability and data quality cannot be fully guaranteed. Therefore, it is necessary to filter out bad local models through quality detection. In each round, all local models are aggregated into a global model. We get the loss on the validation set. Remove a local model that need to be detected. Aggregate the remaining local models into another global model and calculate the loss hat. If the difference between the loss hat and the loss is not less than the threshold, then this local model passes the detection. Local models that pass quality detection are used to aggregate into the global model. The weight of each local model is determined based on the performance in the detection. Now we use this figure to show how to measure contribution of each participant. Firstly find the direction vector between the initial global model of current round and the final global model. That is the dotted line in the figure. Then find the angle theta between the local model update and the direction vector. Then the local model update is projected onto the direction vector. The product of the projected result and the absolute value of the cosine theta is the contribution of the participant in current round. Finally, the contribution of participant in each round is added up as the overall contribution of this participant. Now we use contribution and the times of passing quality detection to measure the participant's reputation in current task. Firstly, we get the relative contribution. Secondly, we perform a transformation on the times of passing and failing the quality detection. 
and the result is used as the input of the Gompertz function. The product of the Gompertz function output and the relative contribution is the reputation of this participant in current task. We use the NIST, Fashion NIST, and IMDB datasets respectively for experiments. The accuracy of the individual data may be different. For each dataset we run 200 tasks respectively and use the last 100 tasks to evaluate our mechanism or our AFL. This table shows the average contributions rewards and reputation of participants with different data accuracy rates. In general all three decrease as the data accuracy decreases. And the change is nonlinear. It shows that our AFL can reasonably measure the participant's contribution and allow participants with good data quality to get more rewards and a higher reputation. To show the influence of recommenders' fake reputation on comprehensive reputation, we considered two cases. Case 1 is that different numbers of recommenders maliciously give a high reputation rating of 0.99 to candidates with a data accuracy rate of 0.1. Case 2 is that different numbers of recommenders maliciously give all candidates a low reputation. We observe the impact of Case 1 and Case 2 on the comprehensive reputation of participants with data accuracy rates of 0.1 and 1.0 respectively. This table shows that in these two cases, for every two additional malicious recommenders reputation does not exceed 0.0297. This shows that even if the number of fake recommenders increases, the comprehensive reputation is still useful. We set up two comparison mechanisms, our AFL and Vanilla FL. Our AFL only selects the participants with lower bid price and not considers reputation. Vanilla FL selects participants randomly. This table shows that in our mechanism, or our AFL, the proportion of participants with data accuracy no less than 0.7 is more than 98%. And the proportion of participants with data accuracy of 1 is more than 99%, which is much higher than the other two mechanisms. It means that our AFL can help task requesters select participants with good data quality. The table compares the average loss and accuracy of the final global model of the three mechanisms in the last 100 tasks. The accuracy of the global model obtained by RRAFL is higher than that of the other two mechanisms. And the loss is lower. This figure shows the accuracy of the global model obtained by the three mechanisms in the last 100 tasks for the NIST dataset. For most tasks, the accuracy of the model obtained by RRAFL is higher than that of the RAFL and is much better than that of Vanilla FL. Compared with the other two mechanisms, RRAFL can improve the performance of the global model. Thanks for your listening.